Within Business Central, we're regularly asked, uh, what do I do about my CRM? So this is a brief introduction to the sales and relationship management role within Business Central. Um, as you can see, this role looks a little bit different. So how did I get here? We went to the cog, we pressed my settings, we changed our role to sales and relationship manager. Now, that role's a role that's available in other box with Business Central on turning on the platform. Um, there's some key things here that you can use that are pretty fancy and useful. Um, again, we want to remember that this is uh, what's referred to as a baseline um, customer relationship management tool. Okay, so things that you won't have here is EDM, so you won't have uh, marketing, so where we're talking about webhooks into a custom site, into uh, landing pages and things like that that you would traditionally get in a HubSpot or a Salesforce um, slash Dynamics 365 marketing module. Um, for that, you would need to extend by integrating Dynamics 365 marketing or sales into Business Central. So we're going to focus on what is part of a core CRM, and that is taking contacts from a lead, okay, develop, developing them and turning them into an opportunity, tracking the opportunity in stages or pipelines, then taking that into a quote, an associated quote. When it's converted, they turn into a sales order. Sales order then continues on within the business process, which I won't go further with. So uh, let's take a look at our home screen here. We have contacts, so contacts which are companies, contacts which are persons or individuals. It tracks for duplicates and allows us to resolve those. We can see our open opportunities, We've got opportunities due in, in, in within seven days. We've got overdue opportunities and close opportunities. We can see here our open sales quotes. We can see our open sales orders and active campaigns right now. All right. So down further, these are standard business central functions to do with user tasks, email and approvals, self-service for your timesheets. Here you get some data that's already inserting about your sales pipeline and your opportunities. Uh, this is your sales cycle which is existing if you've got multiple pipelines you can break them down here and flip between them you've got your opportunities and then whatever else you inject in including power bi all right so let's go in and create an opportunity this demo database is a furniture company so i'm going to go create an opportunity um, for some uh, new chairs for um, conference cent. All right, and we are going to go and choose a contact, and I've got myself in here under example, customer name, and hit OK. All right, this opportunity comes with some default details loaded off the contact. It's not using the company yet, it's just using the contact. We can see here, I can have the salesperson code fill in automatically. Uh, let's pretend I'm JR. JR is John Roberts. Campaign, if you've got one market segment you've got the priority which is high low medium the sales cycle determines which pipeline you're pulling this from so is this a new customer pipeline is this existing customer this could be is this overseas market is this uh, special software services is this manufacturing products like you can you can split this in and it determines a whole heap of things to do with your sales cycle and the tasks that deploy underneath here and we'll cover that more in a further tutorial so i'm going to say it's existing customer i'm going to go process and here we've got all of our processes to push this around and we're going to hit activate do you want to activate yes we have ourselves an opportunity zero value two percent of nothing equals nothing so i can update this i can update the opportunity and say it's worth fifty thousand dollars I don't want to move to next the presentation. I want to just just update this as it stands right now. I'm just going to hit OK, and so we're still at initial, and it's now worth fifty thousand dollars. But two percent of fifty thousand is the weight in the system, and the value of the opportunity pipeline is a thousand dollars. All right, process. Let's update and push it along. I can push it to the next. Cancel the tasks that are involved with initial and move to presentation. You can see your tasks by going to opportunity. Uh, and hitting tasks you can also see your interaction logs and um, yeah statistics etc let's hit tasks and see what happens so i can see here i've got to get all these done so i can see here some completed 
that were created when we created the opportunity. And now we've got some other tasks and they're all dated based on what's within your stage. So it's, it's, it's in the setup there. Um, if I want to move to the next stage now, it's going to ask me to create a quote. So I hit OK. Please go create a quote. All right. Let's go create a quote. Process. Create sales quote. It's loaded now the associated company. If there was no company, it will prompt you to create or select a company for this contact. The external document number at this stage for this could be their, their quote reference. It could be something that's related. For us, we're just going to call this an ID which we had on record and I know that they want this at the end of November. All right. From here, we're going to select some items. We're going to go in and select some chairs. That's fine. Shipment date of that date. The work date is this date. That's correct. That's fine. It's just due to my working dates versus um, system date uh, that I've got set here. Just here. All right. So I'm going to select 50 of these and 30 of these chairs, and it's going to give me a, a fairly quick transaction. You see it's underneath the $50,000 that I had estimated. But right now that quote is as good as done. We can print and send that. Send by email or print to PDF. So just there, you hit print, preview, and it's going to show you what the PDF would look like. Okay, the templates are all editable. We can send that to a PDF or a Word document, or we can go print send, send by email, and it will give you the dialogue and it will send it from your 365 mailbox. And again, these templates are customized and localized for your team, and you can get these, the PDF attached based on what we're sending that contact. I'm going to disregard that. All right. So going back to the opportunity, we can see here now if we go and update that it's going to pull through that quote and update the actual value that's currently on the quote. But now the percentage has dropped, uh, sorry, increased to 80%. So it's 80% of 37. That's the value of this opportunity. And we can win this by hitting close. We can win it by doing an update. Okay. And continuing to the end, or we can just go through uh, to show me my sales quote. And on the sales quote itself, I'm here on my sales quote. The customer's given us now a purchase order number, which is PO12345. Process, make an order. Let's go. Do you want to convert this to an order? Yes, I do. There's an open opportunity on this. Uh, the opportunity has to be closed. Do you want to close? Yes. You get the option here. It's one. Why did you win it? And you can say we were a best price and you've got options in here to turn around and see the sales quote that's associated um, it's not really necessary being that we're closing let's just hit close the quote has been converted yes all right so that's really closing out a sale straight through the the process sales orders is not what we're covering in this tutorial but it then ranks up the fact that we've made a sale. We do have against our salespeople purchases. We do have the ability to track commission. And so against each staff member, you can see the commission that's calculated on completed transaction. Okay. Um, we do have the ability to then run commission reports. We can run sales statistics. Um, there's a bunch of reports built into Business Central that give you some initial capabilities before you start looking at external reporting through Power BI or JET to actually suck this data out and make it uh, richer for your organization's requirements. And that concludes our introduction to the capabilities of sales in CRM module of Business Central.